Have you ever thought how they estimate the cost of the temporary electricity required for a construction project? How they estimate such cost? Actually, if you didn't think about it, you are lucky because in this video, I'll show you how I personally estimate such cost and what are the parameters that will affect the cost of the temporary electricity required for the works starting right now. To understand how to estimate such cost, we need to understand what is actual power and what is apparent power. And also we need to understand what are the power requirements for a project and how to convert the kilowatts to KVA. And also what is the generator rental cost and what is the diesel consumption or fuel consumption. And from that, we can calculate this cost. Just if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adil and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career so if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. So I'll start with what is actual power? The actual power is the power that the equipment or the appliance need. And the apparent power is the power that is available to be used in the system. These two powers are not equal to each other because of the system efficiency and the losses in the power and all of this. But I am not an electrical engineer, so I don't want to get into these details and the power triangle and all of that. It's more simple than that. Actual is what I need. Apparent is the power that is available in the system to be used. So in a construction project, what do we need? Let's assume that we are talking about a residential building of 10 floors. What are the temporary power requirements for such a project? You need a site office for the engineers to sit and all of this. And also you need a tower crane, for example, you need a hoist, you need construction plant equipment and tools and all of this. So you need power to be enough to run all these things at the same time. So for example, when I am talking about the site office in one porta cabin of two rooms, let's assume that we have two AC equipments and maybe we have something like six or seven lighting points and maybe five or six power points. So overall, the site office one porta cabin might require 15 kilowatts, for example. So if I need three porta cabins, that will be 45 kilowatts required only for the site offices. Then I will have the tower crane. The tower crane might require, let's say, 75 kilowatts. Then I have the hoist. Maybe the hoist will need 20 to 25 kilowatts. And after that, we have maybe some construction plant and equipment and tools and all of this. Maybe I'll assume 50 kilowatts more for these equipments. So like that, we can say that the power requirements will be 45 for the site offices, plus 70 for the tower crane, plus 25 for the hoist, plus 50 for the other construction tools and equipment. So the total will be around 190 kilowatts. So I need an actual power of 190 kilowatts to run my project. So in order to get 120 kilowatts, you need a generator of a specific capacity. But this capacity of the generator, this is what we call the apparent power. And usually the apparent power is equal to the actual power multiplied by 1.25. So if I need 190 kilowatts, if I multiply that by 1.25, then it will be 237.5 kVA. kVA is the unit for the apparent power or for the generators. So if I need 237, then I will go for a generator that is 250 kVA or something like this. So I'll go and I'll rent such generator. Now I need to see how much is the rental cost for this generator. And let's assume, for example, it's 5,000 per month. So if I need this generator for 18 months, which is the duration of the project, so that's 5,000 multiplied by 18, and this will be 90,000 only for the rental of the generator. Then regarding the fuel consumption or the diesel consumption, you can go to Google and you can search for diesel generator fuel consumption, for example, and you will find so many websites with charts having all the capacities of the generators and what is the diesel consumption per hour, liter per hour or gallon per hour at 25% load, 50% load and 75% load and 100% load. So I can make my cost estimation assumption that the diesel generator will be running at 75% load and based on that I can get the consumption which will be in gallon per hour or liter per hour and for such generator it's about 13.6 gallon per hour so now I know the diesel consumption this generator this 250 kVA generator requires 13.6 gallons of diesel per hour so for example if the rate of the diesel is 15 so I can say that the hourly consumption is 13.6 into 15 that's 204 so per hour this diesel generator requires 200 
104 currency of diesel just to be running and of course if we are working 10 hours per day so i'll just multiply 204 by 10 that's 2040 and then the monthly consumption will be 2040 which is per day multiplied by 30 days so that's maybe 61,200. and actually the diesel consumption which is 13.6 gallon per hour when you get this percentage from let's say charts or something like that these percentages are sometimes a little bit exaggerated so you can consider it a little bit less but we can do this once we get the final amount as we will see right now so back to what we were saying the required fuel for the one month is let's say 2040 multiplied by 30 that's 61,200. and if the project duration is 18 months then you multiply that by 18 you will find that you need 1.1 million of diesel to run this project and you might tell me Ahmed this is too much 1.1 million only for the supply of diesel I'll tell you yes it's a logical number because I am talking about a 10 floors building that might be a 50 million cost or something so out of 50 million if we have 1.1 million for the supply of the diesel that's completely fine plus 90,000 for the renting of the generator so we are talking about something in the range of 1.2 million maybe 1.1 or 1 million or 900,000 but it will be something that is really in this range and that's why people prefer to connect temporary electricity to the working sites better than using diesel generator and in this video i show you how to estimate the cost of equipment in the construction projects thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel and also you can support cost engineering professional by joining our channel memberships thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you in the next video